We're going to show you today how to set the internal relief valve on our 500, 560, 600, and 6000 series pump. Today we have a 500 series A pump that we'll use as an example. When you first get the pump started, you'll notice that what comes with the pump is what the internal relief valve is set on when Neptune ships you the pump. Now, in this case, this pump is set at 200 psi. Now, typically, that's how we set or that's how we set the relief valve on all, basically all of our pumps. And I'll show you in a bit where that's set. Now, if you need to reset that relief valve, because if the relief valve blows off at the setting that we set it on, you're not going to get any pumpage, no, no, no flow out of the pump. Now we're going to show you where the relief valve is set on the pump. First we're going to have our flow in our calibration column. You see the flow coming down. Now watch the flow as I close off this valve creating pressure against the pump. You hear that noise? See the flow? No more flow, and the relief valve is popping off at 200 psi. Now, what's happening is the oil that's pushing and pulling the diaphragm is now being pushed through a bypass back into the gearbox. Now, I'm going to show you how to set the relief valve. First of all, you gotta you gotta know where to set it. Setting the relief valve, you want it to be 100 psi above your discharge pressure. In other words, if you're pumping at 150 PSI, the relief valve in the pump needs to be at 250 PSI. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. You have your relief valve on your pump, which is on the top portion of this particular pump. Now, other pumps have either have it at the bottom or at the top. They, they vary on models, so just keep that in mind. There's a cap that comes off that leads into a threaded hole, a 3 inch adjustment screw is down there where you adjust the pressure on the pump. Now how are we going to do it? We're going to be using our pressure gauge and we're going to be using our isolation valve downstream from that pressure gauge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create pressure like we did before. We're at 200 psi. We take our 3 16th inch Allen wrench, place it into the relief valve adjustment screw. Now watch the pressure as I turn clockwise. I'm creating pressure, more pressure for the pump to pump against. And it's that easy on how to set a relief valve on a Neptune hydraulically actuated pump. PSG, where innovation flows.